toddler's cabin and we're pretty sure our dog ingested some rat poison. What should we do? This is one of the most common intoxications that we see in the veterinary emergency room. Dogs ingesting poisons that were meant for other animals. This can be serious, even fatal, if left untreated. I've seen rat poisoning in pets at all stages, from the owners that witnessed the event and bring them in right away, to the owners that either did not know that it happened or chose to wait too long. And at the end stages, it truly does require heroics to try to save these pets. Significant financial investments, and a lot of times it's too late. Most rat poisons that we see fall into the class of anticoagulant rat poisons, so they interfere with the body's ability to clot the blood. Anticoagulant rat poisons kill animals and pets by causing them to bleed to death. And I can tell you having seen the end stages of this, spontaneous hemorrhage from every part of the body, that is a really bad way to go. My best piece of advice is to prevent this from happening altogether. In fact, rodent poison are regulated by law in most places. It's typically required that they be kept in containers that cannot be accessed by pets or children and that they be kept out of the reach of pets and children because as you can imagine, if a dog thinks that something is candy, a small toddler might also think that it's candy. And there are children who also become exposed and intoxicated by rodent poisons every year. If this does happen, do not wait too long. That is an emergency. Seek veterinary attention right away. If you're in a remote area, get on the phone with Animal Poison Control and they can guide you through the first steps. When possible, always grab the label if that's present so that the veterinarian knows exactly what poison that they're dealing with and can act accordingly. Your veterinarian will typically want to induce vomiting to try to bring up as much rat poison as possible. If you're out in the mountains and you're a couple hours away from a vet, probably best to do this right away on your way to the vet by administering hydrogen peroxide if it's a dog. But it's also important for anticoagulant rat poisons that these patients receive the antidote. If that is administered right away, then usually you can prevent the clinical signs from happening. Some of the newer poisons work by different mechanisms and a lot of the newer ones do not have an antidote. As a veterinarian, it's my duty to be an advocate for all animals, including wildlife. And having seen pets die from rat poisoning, I can tell you it's not a good way to go. There have been growing concerns about these poisons perpetuating through the food chain in wildlife. And birds of prey have been found dead from eating mice that had ingested the poisons, if at all possible. Possible. Use a humane alternative to poisons. There are a lot of humane rodent traps that you can purchase now. Make sure that all traps are checked regularly. This is a problem that truly is preventable. It would be great if we didn't have to see pets getting poisoned anymore in the emergency room. So be aware that this is a hazard, especially if you're visiting relatives and old cabins. That's a common place for it to happen. But I've also seen dogs ingesting rat poison outside of restaurants and in commercial areas too. Keep an eye on your pet. If you notice them ingesting anything that looks suspicious, get it out of their mouth right away, find out what it is, and seek veterinary attention right away. In these situations, if you wait too long, it can be too late. I just want to drive home that point. When you have these types of concerns regarding your pet, please do not wait too long to get veterinary assistance. I hope that helps. Thank you for your question. Best of luck. Take care.